Hi, it's Dwyer, GamblersAdvisory.com. Remember, the opinion you should follow should be your own. Just consider this video to be a second opinion from a complete stranger online. Always remember that what we're doing here in terms of making bet recommendations, unboxing, is taking risks. Right? Any of these bets can be viewed as dangerous. Some more dangerous than others. Right? Whenever you are on the other side of a bet and getting more than even money odds, that means that the people who set the line at the casino believe that most of the public is on the other side of the bet. Most of the public believes that you're wrong. Now with that in mind, understanding that some risks are riskier than others, let's boldly go wherever the film takes us with regard to today's Lucas Mathis versus Umberto Soto fight. Umberto Soto is a plus 190 underdog bet 100 to win $190 in profit plus the return of your $100 investment. I like Umberto Soto to beat Lucas Mathis hedged against the under 10 and a half rounds and that too <clears throat> is better than even money. That's a plus 185. Understand, we're disagreeing with and betting against the casino on both halves of the hedge. This is a play where you need both halves of the hedge. Again, it's Soto to win at plus 190, hedged against the under 10 and a half rounds at plus 185. Let's talk about it. In my opinion, Soto, the almost two to one underdog, is the much better fighter. <clears throat> better defensively, better offensively, better technique. He's one of the few fighters who, in my opinion, can throw multiple uppercuts in one combination. He's really smart. He's a technician. He comes in the ring. He's playing angles, right? Has been a dominant champion. Quite frankly, he should be more highly regarded pound for pound. Between these two, in my opinion, he's the much better fighter. The problem here is size, and it's something you always need to pay attention to. Most of Soto's career has been fought at less than 140 pounds, and here he's fighting an opponent who not only has vastly more experience at 140, but who's a huge puncher at the weight, right? He dropped Devin Alexander. He dropped Zab Judah, right? These guys literally hit the canvas in the fight. Now, both got off the canvas, and both were able to win the fight barely. Right? Mathis hits hard with both hands. It's very hard to escape him. He's always coming forward. He's cutting off the ring. Right? When he gets inside, the pressure is relentless. Now, I happen to feel that Umberto Soto has better feet than both Zad Judah and Devin Alexander. I really feel that you need to view Soto, who apparently is getting disrespected for some odd reason by the casinos, as an underrated jewel. Quite frankly, the way I see it, 
I think Soto is a candidate for the Boxing Hall of Fame. I think he's an excellent fighter. Look at his history. Now, Soto has a problem with movers, but Mathis is going to be right in front of him, right? The question in this fight is whether or not Soto, who doesn't have a lot of experience at 140, can handle the bigger man's power. I think it's an open question. I think you're protected against the KO if you take the under 10 and a half rounds at plus 185 hedge. But I believe that if this fight goes the distance, I believe it's Umberto Soto's fight to lose. I believe if Soto is on his game, I don't think there's anything Lucas Mathis can do to beat him on the scorecard. Hence, I'm going against the casino on both halves of the bet. Understand this is very high risk, right? Because both of, both halves of the bet are almost 2 to 1. They're above plus 150. But to sum up, as clearly as I can, I like Umberto Soto to win the fight at plus 190. Straddled against the under 10 and a half at plus 185. Let me know what you think. Leave your comments for me here online. Visit us at gamblersadvisory.com. Let me also say that the Lopez versus Ortiz fight is a fight that I'm calling on DwyerVIP.com. So I'm not going to disclose it in a public video. Okay, I appreciate all the emails, but understand that is a private pick. All right, hope you check back with us after the fights. Let's discuss them. I think Soto is underrated. I think if this fight goes the distance, Soto is going to shock the world. Let me go one step further and say that if the fight doesn't go the distance, as long as it ends within the first 10 and a half rounds, in other words, before the midway point of the 11th round, I'll still be protected. Hope you are too. Thanks for watching.